Hi, my name's Dean and I'm the developer of Smart Messenger and I just want to show you a few things that you'll be confronted with when you start Smart Messenger for the first time. So I'll go right ahead here now and we get a pick APN settings little dialog pop up with many options for myself. This list will become optimized over time. Uh, as it stands, I'm currently in the UK and on O2 MMS post pay, so I'll just select that. Um, and this is, these are all for MMS settings. Now this, if you read it, explains to you that um, I'm not asking you uh, for your uh, mobile telephone number for anything shady. It will only be stored in the app and it's purely to remove your number from the group uh, reply in MMS. Um, so if I didn't put this in and I did use group MMS, I would if I reply to a message by myself, it would also send it to myself as a new individual. So we, we don't want that, so I'm just going to enter 555-1234 for myself. Um, and this is quite important when we uh, start Smart Messenger, because it uses a more secure and uh, much more adaptive database structure that allows a lot more freedom for the app itself. It doesn't use the stock SMS database. There's a big reason for this. Um, Two off the top of my head is functionality and security. A lot of apps that um, are out there can read uh, your SMS and MMS uh, message content provider on the phone and scrape information from it. Um, and uh, since Smart Message is meant to be secure and personal just to yourself, um, it made no sense from a security standpoint in me using a database that everything could read. Um, as well as functionality. So, but I'm going to choose not to import stock at this time and I'm just presented with a default theme and uh, I'm ready to start sending messages.